Enrique desperate for Torres and Fornals to lead Italy revenge mission. No center forward, no Real Madrid players, and no chance according to his critics, but Luis Enrique intends to plow on regardless as he tries to build on Spain's semi-final appearance at last summer's Euros. It's exactly three months to the day since Spain were beaten by Italy on penalties in the semi-final at Wembley, and while there are new faces such as 17-year-old Gavi and 18-year-old Jeremy Pino there is also plenty that hasn't changed. Manchester City forward Ferran Torres, Real Sociedad winger Mikel Oyarzabal and Leipzig's Donny Olmo shared false nine responsibilities three months ago. Tonight West Ham's Pablo Fornals replaces the injured Olmo, but there is still no out-and-out -out center forward. In part the absence is justified. Spain isn't exactly blessed with options in that position right now. Iago Espaz, Rafa Mir and Raul de Tomas are probably the best three not currently injured. With Espaz there seemed to be an irreparable clash of personalities, and the player has scored only two goals this season so, if he wasn't picked for the Euros last summer then he was never going to be considered now. The jury is still out on Rafa Mir since his move to Sevilla. He started well coming off the bench, but the former Wolves forward has been less effective since an injury to Yusef N. Nasiri made his place in the first team at Sevilla assured. There is a reliance on service as opposed to ability to make something out of nothing that goes against him in comparison to the coach's false nine options. Espanyol's Raul de Tomas scored at the weekend and has perhaps the strongest claim, but all have been ignored with the emphasis on wingers finishing like center forwards in the few chances Italy are likely to concede. Not only are there no center forwards, there are no Real Madrid players either. Just as Luis Enrique can point to the lack of viable alternatives in terms of picking an out-and-out -out number 9 so too can he highlight the lack of selectable talent at Madrid. Even some Real Madrid supporters would struggle to suggest which of their players the coach should be picking. Pino and Gavi are in the squad, but not expected to start. The former was one of the revelations last season in Un I Emery's Europa League winning Villarreal team and has also been superb for the under-21s. Gavi will break records if he plays tonight. 17 years and 62 days he will become Spain's youngest ever player if he comes on. Luis Enrique has watched him emerge through various youth levels and he is player who looks set to accompany Pedri in Barcelona's midfield for years to come. Pedri, absent tonight, is the new guardian of Spain's style, Gavi is cut from the same cloth, and another who embodies it is the man on whose shoulders most of the scoring expectation are placed. Luis Enrique believes in Ferran much as Pep Guardiola does. Like the fellow Barcelona coach whose playing philosophy seems to increasingly resemble, he believes in the 21-year-old winger's ability to make that transition from talented wide man to prolific scorer. Torres scored eight goals in his first 15 games for Spain, which was as good a start to an international career as the country's all-time top scorer David Villa. He's a player who oozes self-confidence, a quality that extended to his opinion of his teammates and got the better of him during the Euros when he said Spain defenders would eat up Robert Lewandowski. He was reminded of those words after the poll scored the equaliser in the 1-1 draw between the two teams and duly apologised. If I offended anyone I want to say sorry he said. Lewandowski has always been a role model for me as a player. He's not going to become a Lewandowski how Spain would benefit from such a player right now, but he does have the attributes to play through the middle. Guardiola believes it, and so does Luis Enrique. This is a player who already knows what it's like to score a hat-trick against Germany in Spain's 6-0 win over them almost a year ago, en route to this nation's league final, and he must bear the goal's burden tonight. Along with La Liga's second top scorer Oyarzabal and Fornals who should start just ahead of Pablo Sarabia Spain will look to get the better of the team that beat them at Wembley. There will be no Pedri pulling the strings behind, but they will have the experienced pairing of Coke and Sergio Busquets and former Newcastle midfielder Mikel Marino. Luis Enrique's loyalty to Busquets and the fact that he has called up both the out-of-form Barca pair Eric Garcia and Sergio Roberto only adds fuel to the flames when it comes to the manager being anti-Real Madrid. Taking pressure off his players ahead of the game, Luis Enrique was keen to point out that the more important matches will come next month against Greece in Athens and against Sweden in Seville because they are the matches that will help determine if Spain make it to the next World Cup. But he knows how Spain fares in the semi-final will set the tone for those games. He intends to do it his way with Ferran, Fornals and the false nine regardless of the doubters. Italy will test those unshakable principles to the limit.